We have a sin problem, and God can't live with sin. God is perfect. He's up in the third heaven, and he's looking down. And he gave us the perfect free gift in himself, in man's form, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Son of God. God himself came down in man's form, walked a perfect life, never sinned, and was rejected, and on purpose got on a cross and died for you. About 2,000 years ago, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4 tells a story where he died on a cross. It's what he did that saves you. He was buried, and on the third day, he rose from the dead. So what did he do? He shed his blood. The blood is the blood atonement that you need to wash away and be forgiven of your past, present, and future sins. All a free gift, nothing else added, lest any man can boast. So how do you 100% sure that you're saved? You believe with your heart, you confess with your mouth. On 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4, that Jesus did die on the cross, and his blood will wash away your sins, and you're counting on that for your salvation. Again, it's, you know, Christianity, if you want to really get down to it, is faith in what Jesus did on the cross to wash away your sins once and for all. Again, nothing else is added to that, unless any man can boast. There's no water baptism, there's no church membership, there's no... Um, asking for forgiveness of sins or sacraments to save you. It's only on the blood of Jesus Christ. So uh, if, 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 if they were to die today, tell them what they oh. need to be, to be saved. Number one, you got to realize you need to be saved. A lot of people think they're going to be, their good works are going to outweigh their bad works, but your works has nothing to do with it because our works are filthy rags in the sight of God. So, number one, we have to realize we're a sinner. Secondly, understand the consequences of that. There's an eternal separation from God in the lake of fire. Then understand how much God loves us. Yeah. He sent, Cal sent Jesus to Calvary's cross. And then the Bible says that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. It's simply believing and taking God at his word. Yes. That's that simple. And you can change your destiny from hell to heaven by... Simply receiving Christ as your Savior.